Hi, in this recording we're going to actually write a small macro, make a button for it, and show you how all this works. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go to the Developer tab and go to the Editor. Now, I organized my Project window and my uh, Properties window the last time I was in the Editor, but I also want to show the Code window, so I do that here. Now, in, on the Mac, you can make your macro be just for a single worksheet or for the whole workbook. So let's try to do it for the whole workbook. And going to start, I didn't like that. Okay, here's the code for the workbook. So see at the top here, this one's for the sheet. Let's close that. This one's for the whole workbook. Generally, you want your macro to work in the whole workbook. So I'm going to start by writing option explicit. Now I'll explain more about what this means later, but I like to put it at the beginning of all my macros. And to start a macro, this one's going to be a sub-procedure, and what it's going to do is turn the active cell red. So I'm going to give it a meaningful name, turn active cell red, and I have to put a set of parentheses. That's where a um, argument would go, or parameter, if I was going to have one, but I'm not. And now what I'm going to do, I want to refer to the active cell, and there's an easy way to do that. You just write active cell, and now this shows me the methods the, the events that can be associated, like you can activate it, you can add a comment, etc. Um, the properties and the events. I don't have one right here that are associated with it. Well, what we want to do is work on the interior of the cell. So I can just push tab here to complete this. And the color, whoops, color. And I'm going to set it equal to red. So within Visual Basic, there's a set of names for the colors, and they start with VB like this, VB red. Okay, now I also want to give it a, what I call banner comment. So a comment is read only by the person, the, the Visual Basic system ignores it. So to make a comment, you start with a single quote, and then anything after the single quote is ignored. So to make it show up, I'll put my single quote, and then I'll put a bunch of asterisks. So this is going to make it fairly prominent. And then I'll put a comment that says what it does. Turn the active cell red. And finish it up with another line of asterisks. Again, starting with a single quote, because that's how it knows it's part of the comment. Okay, so that's it. Let's save it. And now I'm going to save this workbook, and I have to be careful to save it as a macro-enabled workbook, XLSM. And I'll just name it um, Red Cell. All right, and now let's close this and return to Excel. And now what I want to do is set up a button to let me run my macro. So I'm going to select button here, and I'll put a button, associate it, and you see how it says this workbook? If it were for the sheet one, it would say sheet one. Okay, I'll say okay, and now I want to give it a meaningful name, so let's do that. just make it say red. Okay, and now let's make it an active cell and push the button, and there we go. It's turning it red. Okay, now let me show you one more thing you can do. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and go to Clip Art Gallery, and I'm going to search for something red, let's say Apple. Okay, so I'll select this and insert it. 
Okay, and I, I want to make it a little bit smaller, a lot smaller. Okay, and now what I want to do is use this apple as my button, which you can totally do with any piece of clip art. So I'm going to right click, and I have a mouse with two buttons. You can command click if you don't have that. And what I want to do is assign a macro to it. And that's going to be this one. Okay. So let's try it. Oops. Let's select an active cell. Okay. And you can see that the Apple picture also works, or I can still use my button if I want to. So now you should try this for yourself. Make a macro that turns a cell green or blue or whatever, you know, basic color you're interested in. You can use the same kind of a constant to choose your color. Play around with it and uh, make sure you understand what's going on.